a shaded view. surface. Here is a fashion and photography festival. Now in its 22nd year. Each year, 10 designers and 10 photographers compete for prizes ranging from a potted palm to 15,000 euros. So the 2007 Yale photographic competition there are two winners, and they are Popo Kumu and Jessica Roberts. Jessica Roberts, Popel Kumu. All the boys that I photographed have been from the age of 8 to 15. I'm just interested in capturing a nonchalant sexuality that is very overwhelming in most children. The whole idea of them teetering on that fine line of adolescence and adulthood and lost innocence. I make small two-dimensional maquettes or collages. Like everything is totally flat. This is just a piece of black paper. By using the light it seems to have a third dimension and then you practically bring this certain mysterious feeling in it. And then a series of prizes for fashion. The public prize is awarded by the mayor of Yer. Play around with shapes and the possibilities. Don't think about the reality. This one was um, particularly inspired by Gothic cathedrals. But behind that, we want to experiment if it's possible to bring in the stage of sublime in fashion design. That is basically it. Special mentions are given by the jury. I have some dresses that I made where two people are hugging and then uh, I've been drawing around and switched the, um, the pieces where they touched. The idea was to take everyday clothes and to mix it with couture inspiration, giving a homage to clothes you wear at home, which are normally like you don't really care about it. Then, the Antetois Prize. 15,000 euros to design a collection that will be sold in Antetois shops throughout Europe. The impulse was to combine two things I feel attracted to that are um, natural things, biological things, combined with synthetic things. Finally, the Grand Jury Prize, awarded to Swedish designer Sandra Backland. 15,000 euros offered by L'Oreal Professional. The inspiration for the collection was the ink blot test. You know, where you take a paper and you put ink and then you fold it and you see what chance gave you. <laughs> a jury of international authorities in the worlds of fashion and photography spend three days reviewing the work of the contestants. Are we there for uh, choosing the very wearable clothes or something out of reality or something which is borderline connected with both imagination, creativity, perversity and uh, reality. Mm, I, I really hope that I've, I'll be confronted with things that I just won't see within the kind of the dominant discourse of fashion which is sort of top shop and the kind of um, you know quick easy uh, sellable, accessible, immediately marketable products. I, I hope that we can come across sort of originality, um, 
in thinking and in expression. I will exhibit immediately to Tom. Himself, the drawings, the work, it's a world itself. L'équilibre pour la présentation aujourd'hui était était parfait parce qu'il y avait la touche académique et la touche contemporaine, la touche architecturale. J'ai beaucoup aimé le japonais qui était une grande claque. Magnifique. The secret, beauty. <laughs> have to go, have to make interviews. Oh, you're a star. I'm a journalist improvisé, you know. Okay. I'm not a real one, I'm, I'm a fake one. Three words. Location. 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 Les gens sont relax et euh, ouverts et ont envie de voir les choses. Et donc je pense que c'est ça qu'il faut absolument essayer de maintenir. Euh, de faire en sorte que les choses soient le plus relax possible pour que les rencontres soient les meilleures possibles. For many, it has become a yearly pilgrimage to feel the pulse for the future. The first time I'm a guest here without having any duties, any particular duties. Love it. I just found out something in French called Virus de Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Kind of, that we were like, <laughs> For some, it has been a decade of collaboration.